Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 12 of Bad Woman. This time, the title of the episode is Take Your Choice. And yes, I am ready. I mean, Episode 11, which I think it was, it premiered like a few weeks ago. I, I don't know. Um, it ended with a cliffhanger. Something is happening to both... Are like Alice from our universe and Beth from you know this merch thing that happened uh, with the crossover. Uh, so the two versions of Beth, Alice, are in trouble right now. Something is happening. So I'm guessing we're gonna see the uh, the result, whatever is going to end up like on this episode. So we'll see what happens. I have missed Bad Woman. I cannot wait to watch this new episode. The season, you know, started a little bit slow, picking up its pace. And, like, right now, I feel like they are on their best moment. And I am loving it. So, I am excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. So, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love Bad Woman. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. And you can also go to Patreon right now and watch the full extended version for this reaction. For every single reaction of Bad Woman and Supergirl and Arrow and The Flash. Even though I haven't reacted to Arrow and The Flash in like a month. Month, but I will continue soon. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode 12 of Bad Woman. <laughs> right now, no, actually, it was one of the plots of Pearl Little Liars, too. Yeah. I don't know about him, but the actor, that actor, always plays a bad guy. So I'm like, maybe he's bad. I don't know who's the Look bigger threat to Gotham. Oh, yes. Alice or us for letting her get away. Acting commander. Oh. And yes. If yes. you see Alice, do not hesitate. Shoot to kill. Acting command. I love this. I love this. I love how powerful she looks right now. Tell them I'm going into labor and we need to get to a hospital. Um, have you seen you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> I freaking love Mary. Got someone in the back. No, you don't. I was wondering what the hell she was. Is that a new mask or something? Literally not big enough for the boat and the sisters going to overdrive. I'm gonna pretend like Until I understood eventually. that. It's about seven hours from now. Of course they have a time limit. What happens if one of them dies? Is the universe big enough? Or the Flash. And oh, by the way, I swear I'm not Batwoman. I mean, that could be the easiest solution. <coughs> oh, no. And she doesn't know what the hell is happening to her. The crows are stupid. All of them. She's bleeding. Tell the crows to stand down. She You're did crazy? something to her wig or something? You once told me you trusted me. Oh, look at that! <laughs> where, where is she hanging? There's nothing on top. What the hell? But I love when she just vanishes. Three hours and 37 minutes you have left. Oh, how smart they are together. Why am okay. I shipping well, them? I'll just keep trying. <gasps> Holy hell! How did she got in? Adorable. <laughs> Leave her alone. Goody, let's add blindly empathetic to the list. <laughs> I'm I love captive for half my life. Your Kate pulled you from the car before it fell. Oh my god. Wondered what my life would have been like if you had saved me. And I just it. never imagined that I'd be so basic. <laughs> basic. <laughs> Technically speaking, we are an anomaly of intergalactic proportions. Of course they are. Got it. I mean, can her life be any more tragic? Like Beth's Alice's life, you know? Can can it be any more tragic than what it is right now? Alice, stop! Hey, Beth needs you. We're running out of time. Yeah, but we need to trap her! Oh my god. This is disgusting. The guy who sided with one of Gotham's most prolific killers. He keeps stop being sassy. He's about to die. So now I'm gonna kill you. That's the bad thing about villains. They never finish the, the job because they are always talking and talking. Oh no. Oh, oh god damn it. Oh! Oh no! My child! God damn it, Alice! My own boy betrayed me. That's your dad? 
I knew that he was evil. I told you that he was evil. Forgive me for standing up to my abuser for being a weak little boy. She was my family. Holy hell. She accepted me. You looked at me and you yeah. saw a monster. He destroyed she both of them. She saw the window to the world. Oh, God damn it! This is scary. Oh, no, he's gonna kill Mal. <laughs> what? Truth serum? Oh my god, what is she doing? Leave her alone! Oh, yes, Mary! Oh my god, go, Mary! Yeah, get the best in there! Yes! <laughs> yes! I can't blame Mary for not helping her, you know? I love that Mary kicked her ass, so. But if she stays, how, how, like, if we save Alice, how is she gonna stay here? Because she, like, the crows are looking for her. He's gonna have to pay for what Alice did? A girlfriend? Her soulmate. Really? Oh. Who was her soulmate? Anyone I know? I'm pretty sure her soulmate is the Sophie. To the bad game! I knew that she was gonna tell her eventually. What the hell? I see him. He's gonna pick me. Oh my god. I feel so bad. You have to give her to the actress for actually I actually thought she was dead but like for making us feel well, for the villain I finally found something on this earth to be jealous of <laughs> we're not actually considering saving Alice oh my god are you she has to she, she has to look this for another no solution pleasure. so go in there and save one of the most compassionate smartest humans that I've ever met is she in love with her? <laughs> or go back into the choice is yours. Holy hell. Oh my god, so dramatic. Oh god. Me. Oh my god, stop. Somehow I understand her. I do too. I'm not about to do nothing again. Oh, she chose Alice. I came to say goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, she already did. Just you asking that as proof. Please don't turn out evil. I'm here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. I cannot. Oh my god. Please don't tell me that the end she's evil or something because I will kill. The acceleration index. Oh no! Sophie! No! Sophie! Sophie! I need backup for an arrest of the Twin Pines Inn. Oh, okay. Oh my god, who shot her? No! No! And she's back. Oh, holy hell! Let me die. Oh. I sure god, I'm stressed. But holy hell, this was an amazing episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, literally, oh my god. Like... <sighs> okay. I even shed a few tears for Alice. Because, hear me out. Before... Before... You know... Um, Kate decides... That... Beth is more worthy of being alive than Alice... You just hear me out. This is all the actress work, you know, for make us feel for the character, even though she's a villain. She has killed uh, multiple people. She will continue killing more people. You know, now she's gonna even try to kill uh, Kate. Um, but the thing is that she had such a traumatic life. Like, seeing her as being, like, seeing what she went through. The moment she, you know, trauma, just, it was just too much. That she changes to this persona and she creates this character, Alice, to kind of, like, just put down and, like, like, survive what she was going through. And seeing Beth and seeing Alice... You see that she it, she wasn't born evil. 
that the situations that she went through, that's what made her who she is. That if nothing of that could have happened, she will have become a normal citizen, you know, an astrophysic, uh, physicist, right? Whatever it was. And she will be kind and, 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 and lovable and everything, everything that Kate wanted for her, you know? So I just, at that moment, I just couldn't believe her luck, you know, out of everyone who could have a doppelganger or someone, you know, another versions of themselves, it has, it had to be her, it had to be her, it had to be something, another traumatic effect to add more to who she already is and to all the awful things that happened to her her entire life, you know, um, and that made me feel, but like I said, I give props also to the writers of this show for being able during this 11 episodes to show us who she is, you know, show us not only the, the, the bad side, but also, you know, the traumatic side of becoming Alice, you know, and I think that that is important and that, it, that that was key for this moment. For this moment where we are like seeing her die and we still, I at least, felt like this is wrong. She could have had a, another chance. Better things could have happened uh, with her. And maybe there is a point of return. Uh, and that is what, how I felt when I was seeing her dying, you know, when, when Kate just says, you're too far gone, I cannot save you. And also, I mean, I understand that she wants to say, save someone who has not done anything bad, who, like, right, that was an impossible choice. She was there, she either saved this good person, and also her sister, uh, Mary, you know, uh, and give Mary some peace of mind and Gotham some peace of mind, like peace overall because you, you're not going to have Beth anymore. Or she goes and does what I feel her heart wanted at the same time, which was save Alice. Until the end, she was like, I have to save Alice, you know, too. I have to save them both. But she just couldn't, you know, and I just... That made me feel so, so bad, you know, for Kate at the same time. Because now, of course, uh, Alice is going to be like, well, you didn't want me. You know, you didn't want me. You didn't, um, you were going to let me die. And you can say a lot of things about her, about Alice, about the fact that um, she has killed a lot of people. She has not tried to kill Kate. In fact, she has saved her. You know, and in her own fucked up way of doing things, she thinks that she's protecting her sister. You know, she, like, the recoil thing, the thing, the, the, the that bullet thing that could kill uh, her, she took it, you know, so uh, no one can actually hurt and kill Kate as bad woman, you know, and now... You, like, we had her as an enemy. I mean, the city has her as an enemy, but not Kate. But now she does have her as an enemy, you know? And this is going to... It has to suck, you know? It's 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 at that moment where she chose not to give her the blood. It was like the car all over again where she just froze, did nothing, and let it happen. This opportunity, it was the same thing. She just let it happen. But now she was, like, consciously doing this, you know. So this is going to sting. This is going to make uh, Beth, Alice, even more dangerous. I am so sad, you know, that um, Beth, the other version of Beth, got killed. I love the fact that, you know, also Sophie was, like, her orders were shoot to kill. She followed uh, him, what's his face, L Luke, and she was about to kill her, and she was like, 
I cannot do this. You know, she listened to what bad woman had to say to not start this with, um, like that, you know, killing people instead of arresting them, you know, and give, giving them the right, uh, type of justice, you know? So, um, but we have another plot twist, which is that the doctor, the, the, the one, I don't remember his name, uh, the one that's supposedly going to help Kate's dad to get out. Well, he is actually Mouse's dad, you know, and now he kidnapped Mouse and he thinks he killed, uh, Beth. Because it's, apparently it's Beth, the one who made Mouse a, a crazy person or make him, uh, you know, not follow his lead. But, like, how abusive he is and everything. Even though I, I, I fell for Mouse, another crazy person. But he I fell for him because he was like, I stood up to my abuser. And that is exactly who he was. He was He's even, till this point, even though he is, like, very much crazy as well, he's still terrified of his dad, you know? And he's going to be terribly disappointed when he knows that actually, you know, Alice, you know, is uh, alive. And that one that he killed was an innocent woman. And I I hate that. Also because I saw some, like, sparks between Beth and Luke. Also, side note, I think that, you know, out of all the teams, Team Flash... Team Supergirl, Team Arrow. Bad Woman is the one who has the least resources. I mean, she has gadgets, you know, she has the motorcycle, she like disappears every time she wants, and like it's pretty badass. But like in, in the sense of like she doesn't have a lap, she doesn't have like 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 proper, like, yes, it is look, it's a one person uh team. And I think that, you know, we need uh, an actual team, like Mary joining the team, and like, I don't know, possibly who else, I don't know, but like, uh, Sophie as well, you know, the team has to grow, and they need to have like a real space to do a lot of really, like, important things, like, she was with her microphone, microphone, uh, no, it's, that's not microphone, what the hell, microscope, and like, oh yeah, your cells are deteriorating. Like all this mumble jumble that you said. And I was like, and you can figure all that out from, from just that? That was the only thing? You know, because from an arrow on the Flash and Supergirl, they have these big labs, these big things, resources that they can use. Uh, and Batwoman literally has like a cape, gadgets, a really cool bike. That it. Like, that's it, you know? And, like, I feel like we need more, you know? We need, like, a like a proper team and, like, with a lot of gadgets, a lot of things, and a lot of things that will help her fight crime, you know? She's very much just, like, she, she doesn't have, like, that much resources, you know? Um, but, yeah, <sighs> next episode, I bet, is going to be crazier. You know, um, because it's it's just this episode was so badass. It was so badass. One of my favorites so far of, of the season. I think it was just amazing. It had like plot twists after plot twists, and like uh, I think the name of the actress who plays Alice and who was playing Alice and Beth, I think it's Rachel. Uh, pff, my God, she's like so good. It she's so good. A plain crazy, like the emotional side and like the everything. She can do everything. I could literally watch an entire episode of just her. Like, really. And it's not her show. It's Bad Woman. But like, still, she is an amazing, amazing actress doing a fantastic job as a villain. And now with her playing uh, Beth, giving her character, the main one, more you know, more things so we can know that how things could have been different, you know, and make us feel for the character. It was just fantastic. Fantastic. I also love the fact that Mary kind of gave her a few punch uh, to Alice. Uh, and also Catherine showing up. I was like, for a minute, I was like, oh, maybe the, the merge 
thing? Maybe. That's another version of Catherine. No, it wasn't. I, I think it was a hallucination. But I thought it was a, another version of, of, of her. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, I think that's it. I was going to talk about something else, but I completely forgot now. Because I forgot. <laughs> Uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I think that this episode was great. Uh, I think that more episodes like this will be even better. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Probably after I press like stop, I'm going to remember <laughs> what I was going to say. But I cannot for the life of me remember right now. I was going to say something about Kate, I think. I don't remember. Anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy. Give it a lot of thumbs up. If you love Bad Woman, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, go to Patreon to watch the extended version. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Bad Woman. Mwah. Bye, guys.